Campus. U of A researchers say a once a decade study shows a record low number of new saguaro growth at their desert laboratory on Tumamuk Hill. Nine on your side's Andrew Christensen tonight speaks with an expert about how they're trying to preserve more cactus during the prolonged drought. With kind of this uh, climate change and drought, saguaros are, are slower to grow. Fred Stula is the executive director of Friends of Saguaro National Park. He says in recent decades, climate change has affected the water saguaros have gotten. Really for like the last 20 years, we haven't really had kind of a good cycle of, you know, cool, wet conditions. He says that's why they're slower to grow, so there's less of them entering the population. But that doesn't mean the amount of saguaro cacti hasn't grown at all. Stula says in 2010, there were about 1.9 million saguaro in the national park. In 2020, that number went up to just over 2 million. To help those numbers, Friends of Saguaro National Park have been removing invasive species. We remove invasive buffalo grass from throughout the park to help foster the, the, the growth of saguaros. Stula says the park also did research about how nurse trees help saguaros grow. It protects it from the heat, but it also helps to kind of bring water up from the soil. As for growing saguaros, he says they never plant them and they don't transplant very many. So when you transplant it, you end up kind of cutting off some of those roots and they can't grow back kind of to the, 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 the full size that, that they're at before. Instead, he says they have the Adopt a Saguaro program, which puts money into their efforts. And his advice? Leaving them alone and letting them letting them, them grow naturally. Reporting at Saguaro National Park, Andrew Christensen, Kiga 9, on your side.